And we have breaking news right now. Part of a high school football stadium has been evacuated tonight. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Gina Gaston. This all began when a dozen band members became ill. It's happening at Barnett Stadium in southeast Houston, where Yates is playing Austin High. And since the first report of illness, more people say they're feeling sick. Eyewitness 2's reporter Deborah Wrigley is there live with the latest. Deborah. The game has been suspended for now. It all happened around halftime again here at Barnett Stadium. You can see all the fire trucks, all the ambulances. It happened right around halftime, 830, when some band members started feeling sick. We have a couple of the Austin band members right now, and they told us this number is accurate as well. 20 people have now fallen sick to this. 20 people have now fallen sick to this. Those are students and band members, a firefighter as well. You were on the field yes. when everything started happening. Tell me what you saw. As soon as we exited, three dancers just went to the side and it was like, start throwing up. And then as we got in the stands, more just started dropping. And you saw a firefighter out there came yes. to assist. They had already gotten sick by that point. What did you see then? After, after they came and helped, the next thing you know, he dropped and two other firefighters helped him out. And that's when you said you became really alarmed about what was going on. Yes, and they, they started to say that they think this is an airborne um, virus. They started to say that they think this is an airborne um, virus. Okay, so it's an unfolding situation here right now. Again, 20 people, 21 counting a Houston firefighter. They have now been taken to the hospital. The reports of nausea, lightheadedness, shortness of breath from what we understand. Again, still an unfolding situation. The stadium evacuated. Back to you. October the 5th, 2011, on away, Michigan. Hazmat teams from across the area met in Presque Isle County Wednesday, after dozens reported getting sick and showed signs of chemical burns during a volleyball game. People watching the game in the stands at Onaway High School Gym Tuesday night reported feeling sick and showed signs of eye irritation. After several visited the doctor they were told the irritation was chemical burns. Students working in the west wing of Seaholm High School could smell the noxious odor during class. They were transported to the hospital as a precaution. They were all feeling nauseous and a little bit of dizziness, which is not unusual for this. The this that Chief Mike Metz is talking about is a chemical called styrene. A company called Liquiforce is using styrene as a resin to reline sewers along West Lincoln Road. Trenton, Ohio, October 11th, 2011. Emergency officials say an odor that sickened nearly 50 students at Southwest Ohio Middle School came from an herbicide sprayed on a nearby field. Fire crews in the hazmat team had a busy evening after a building in Granger was evacuated because of an unknown odor started making people sick. It happened around 540 this evening on the 12,000 block of State Road 23 at a building with a dentist and a spa store. Officials tell us that they received calls of an odor inside the building that was making people faint and ill. So fire crews and NIPSCO came out, but they couldn't pinpoint a source. That's when they called in the South Bend Hazmat team to investigate. That's because they wanted to make sure that they covered every possibility before letting people back into the building. We have to make sure that uh, you know there are no chemicals or, or any type of uh, gases that are going to injure anybody. Uh, so we have to do everything to rule everything out. And unfortunately, we don't have a reason for what happened tonight. And unfortunately, we don't have a reason for what happened tonight. While crews didn't find the cause, they did rule out every possibility of what it could be from the symptoms that customers were reporting. People in one Campbell County city want to know where a strange odor is coming from. A section of downtown La Follette started to smell strange early Thursday morning. It's caused some businesses to close and apparently even made some people there sick. I'd just like to know, you know, what it is that we ingested yesterday. I mean, and, and what the effects of it could be. After workers were overcome with noxious fumes, 14 people were sent to hospital. But today, something in one of those bins was making workers here sick. Oof. I, I just was so weak and, and just like uh, just something just come right over me sort of thing and sort of the other guys, you know, like just a real heaviness and everything and I was almost passing out. Crews have yet to determine exactly what was making workers ill. 
Crews have yet to determine exactly what was making workers ill. In Ponder agree, something sickening has been in the air they breathe. Plant operators have acknowledged it. And you open the front door and the, the smell just pulls you down. So we don't have this issue anymore because it's causing a lot of health problems for all of our neighbors. A nauseating odor forced the evacuation of a health center on Friday. Approximately 10 workers were sent home after feeling nauseous and complaining of headaches. So they, there was people feeling sick, headaches, nausea, and so they left. But there was a bunch of homes in behind, and they were uh, had calls. They were saying they had headaches, and they were having chest pains. Two trucks. We checked the building out inside with our detector and did not find any problem whatsoever. And did not find any problem whatsoever. Charlottesville City Hall was evacuated today just before noon due to a strange chemical odor in the building. It took firefighters over an hour to check the building over and get things ventilated. It turns out the smell was a chemical substance used to seal windows and the odor got sucked into the air conditioning system. No one was hurt and things were back to normal by 1.30. Says crews will inspect the furnace at a northeast Portland church after nine people became sick from carbon monoxide poisoning. KPTV's Marilyn Deutsch joins us now with more, and this was a close call for the people inside that building. Yeah, they are lucky to be alive this morning. This could have been deadly. Portland Fire's hazmat unit was actually called in on this. The initial call came in for a pneumonia leak here at the Baptist, Northeast Baptist Church, it's called, actually on Northeast Prescott. Now, it wasn't ammonia. It was carbon monoxide at levels more than 10 times greater than what is safe. Again, this could have been deadly. Fortunately, soon after folks started, uh, fortunately, soon after the furnace was turned on for the first time this winter, folks started feeling sick, dizzy, and nauseous. They did get out of the building right away and called 911. The problem was with the furnace. We turned it on for the first time today, and something is obviously amiss, so uh, we're going to get it corrected as soon as we can. That furnace should be checked out this morning and, of course, then fixed. Carbon monoxide, we remind you, is a colorless, odorless, <coughs> excuse me, tasteless gas. Again, nine people taken to local hospitals, so many that the Fire Bureau actually activated their mass casualty response to this incident. Uh, we believe most of those folks have been released from the hospital. We were told that one did have to stay overnight to get some special oxygen therapy. Live in Northeast Portland this morning, Marilyn Deutsch, Good Day, Oregon. The city of Trouble at the Lihue Airport. Ron Wiley from Kong FM 93.5 tells us about it. Good morning, Ron. Good morning on this Aloha Friday. Well, last evening, just before 6 o'clock, 10 TSA screeners at Lihue Airport Main Center checkpoint experienced dizziness, nausea, headache, and so on, and a chemical taste in their mouth. They were taken to Wilcox Hospital Emergency Room, examined and determined to be fine. The checkpoint area was closed off right around 6. According to the Department of Transportation, the entrance to the airport was closed by KPD shortly thereafter and reopened a little after 8 o'clock last night. Flights were slightly delayed, none diverted. No passengers reported to have been affected by the incident. The all clear given around 9.10. Hazmat crews found no results after testing the area for toxic or hazardous odors or substances. Hazmat crews found no results after testing the area for toxic or hazardous odors or substances. Again, the airport employees determined it to be fine and an investigation continues. And this all began when a dozen band members became ill. Because of an unknown odor started making people sick. A section of downtown La Follette started to smell strange early Thursday morning. It's caused some businesses to close and apparently even made some people there sick. Folks started feeling sick, dizzy and nauseous. The reports of nausea, lightheadedness, shortness of breath. They were all feeling nauseous and a little bit of dizziness, which is not unusual for this. Experienced dizziness, nausea, headache and so on, and a chemical taste in their mouth. Oh, I, I just was so weak and, and just like uh, just something just come right over me sort of thing and sort of the other guys, you know, like just a real heaviness and everything and I was almost passing out. And to the point where I was vomiting. Migraines to having headaches all day long, nonstop, every day. They started to say that they think this is an airborne um, 
virus. It, three dancers just went to the side and it was like to start throwing up. And then as we got in the stands, more just started dropping. They were transported to the hospital as a precaution. They have now been taken to the hospital. They were taken to Wilcox Hospital emergency room. Come with noxious fumes. 14 people were sent to hospital. Crews have yet to determine exactly what was making workers ill. We checked the building out inside with our detector and did not find any problem whatsoever. And unfortunately, we don't have a reason for what happened tonight. We don't know what the environmental part of it is going to be as far as our health or anything because no one can tell us. Hazmat crews found no results after testing the area for toxic or hazardous odors or substances. It does appear that the company is trying to track down what the source is of the odor. There are multiple testings going on right now.